What's up? But it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And if you don't know who I am, I run a Canadian lifestyle brand called KBud that's doing multiple six figures per year in sales. So I help clothing brands like yours get really good results. And in this video here, I wanna show you how I would spend $1,000 on a brand new startup clothing brand. And what I want this video to do for you is show you how you can allocate your budget most wisely when you're first starting up. And at the same time, give you some insights into what you should be prioritizing from the very beginning and what just doesn't matter as much. So I think this video is gonna help, here it is. Apparel Success is brought to you by my buds over at Brand Crowd. Brand Crowd's a logo maker tool. You type in the name of the logo that you wanna have made, smack that enter button, thousands of logos will come up. You choose the logo that you like, then you can edit and refine that logo as long as you want for free until it's perfect. This is a hundo P design I made for my own clothing brand using Brand Crowd. If you're interested, head over to brandcrowd.com forward slash apparel success and you can get 66% off at checkout. So let's say I'm starting up a brand new clothing clothing brand and I only have $1,000 to invest, how am I going to allocate my money? I would take the $1,000 and I would put it entirely into product and design. So I wouldn't save any money for Facebook ads, for TikTok ads, zero. I wouldn't save any money to buy a heat press machine or to invest in like a photo shoot. I would just entirely put the thousand dollars into the products, actually making the first products that I'm releasing and into the design of my website and into the design of those products. Let's break this down. For the product, you need to have some clothing that you're gonna be selling from the beginning. Obviously, if you're going print on demand, you can save you know half of your money here by not having to invest up front, and you can put all of your money into the design of your website and into the design of your products. That's what I'd recommend that you're doing if you're going print on demand. But let's say that you wanna do some customization in terms of how you're packing the orders, putting final touches on it, and sending it out to your customers so you need to hold on to inventory. This is the way that I would do it. You need, say, like 50 products to start with, right? Like 50 units. And let's be generous and say that each of those units is gonna cost about $10. So. $10 at 50 units is like $500. So I would take $500 and just put that into like the first products that I'm releasing. And just as a little note here, I'd probably only release like one product, maybe two or three products, but I wouldn't go crazy wide. I would just come out with like two or three products and even one product is totally cool when you're first starting. And the reason for that is because you're gonna put the rest of your money, the other $500, into designing your products and making sure that it looks legit. Now, the reason why this is so important is because in the beginning stage, you don't have a lot of followers, you don't have a lot of influencers or celebrities wearing your stuff, and you don't have any clout yet. Like, nobody knows about your brand, and so the only value people are gonna be getting from your brand is how your brand is staged and how you can make your brand look. And this is why the design of your brand from the very beginning, how it actually looks on your website, the structure of your website, the, the quality of your product designs and how legit and good it looks, really matters because you don't have those other things like a big following or celebrities supporting you to you know inflate the perception of your brand and make it look really really good even though you know your designs are kind of lacking everything really needs to be polished and look good another thing to mention here is that if you're a really good designer yourself then you're at a huge advantage here because you can design a really amazing logo for your products and for your brand and design a really amazing website without having to invest the money and then you can take that money and you can invest it into say more products or maybe save a little bit of money to just dabble in facebook ads and in tiktok ads what i would say is if you're not a website designer if you don't know how to make a website look really good or if you don't know how to design a really high quality logo for your brand that you really invest in in that and you take it really seriously because that's going to be you know the main thing people are going to go off of when you first start to see if your brand is legit and now why wouldn't I save some of this money for Facebook ads or for TikTok ads I wouldn't do this because I believe that the opportunity on TikTok and on Instagram reels right now is enough that you can likely easily sell your first batch of clothing on just TikTok, like getting one post on TikTok to go viral or one post on Instagram to go viral. You could probably sell all 50 of those units. 
just through that. Like you don't need the money for, for marketing when you first start up. You can just invest your own sweat equity. You can invest your own time at that stage. And I'd also say I'd take a thousand dollars worth of your own time and I would put it into research and development. So before you actually invest in the products, before you actually invest in the design, really take the time yourself, like a thousand dollars of your own time. So this might be like, you know, a week or two weeks worth of time to just get clear and concise on your brand concept. So, you know, there's nothing else to really say on this, but just make sure that your brand concept is clear and concise and that it makes sense because it's ambiguity, it's confusion that kills people. When people come across your brand, if you're trying to connect on emotion and lifestyle and they don't really know exactly what the lifestyle is that you're going after, then it's really going to hurt your brand. Okay, your ability to sell. So getting clear on that from the very beginning is extremely important. The most important things to prioritize from the very beginning is the substance of your brand. And this is why, you know, design is really important. The actual products that you're creating, actually making really high quality products so that when your first customers get them, they don't go, oh, this is crap. This guy was just trying to make money and he completely scammed me. They get their products and they go, this is actually like really nice stuff. I can't wait to order again. And there you have repeat customers from the very beginning. And all of this stuff is stuff that's super undervalued by most people starting up their brands. They think about, you know, investing in marketing, getting their brand out there, but they don't actually think about creating a great product and creating a great brand. And so getting clear and concise on what your brand is all about and who it's for, that contributes to how good your brand is. Actually investing money in good products, making good products, that contributes to how good your brand is. Investing in designs and having a really nice website, all of this is gonna contribute to the perception of your brand when you first start, and it's the most important thing from a foundational point of view to start with and to really get yourself on track with. And I think that you know, once you sell those first 50 t-shirts, you'll make a profit back because you're not investing in ads. And maybe you can invest some of that next part when you restock your inventory into some ads and really dabble that way. And then you're off to the races and you're really getting that momentum going. And I just personally wouldn't invest any money into a photo shoot because the level of technology on our cameras now is ridiculous and you can just get out there with your friends, invest your own time and just take your time until those pictures look absolutely amazing. I don't think that you need to put any money into that. And so that's how I would invest $1,000 into a brand new startup clothing brand. I hope you enjoyed. My clothing brand marketing program is 50% off until the end of the year. And this is the last sale that I'm ever going to have. I break down real conversations I've had with celebrities and influencers to land endorsements for my own brand. I show you how to grow a real following on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube from scratch. And I show you how to set up, structure, and scale up Facebook ads and TikTok ads for your clothing brand. If you're interested, you can learn more about what's inside at clothingbrandmarketing.com and I hope to see you inside.